and to think right now you all are witness to truly a professional, that means player. Okay, in all seriousness, hi guys, welcome back to Lemmings World Tour, praise be to God on this glorious day, I'm Colorful Arnie, and we're at least on the professional rank. Now, maybe it's my, how well I do in this rank that determines whether I'm a professional or not, or maybe it was just an arbitrary rank name for a music pack. One way or another, we're starting this rank today. We're on level one. I won rock by Twisted Sista. All right, we got 60 lemmings. We got 54 we have to save. And also, new rank, we might not be able to get for five levels every episode. So right now, for I'm planning on maybe we're only going to get through four. If we could get through four levels every video, that would be great, because then ten professional videos and we'll be done with the rank. So that's my current plan, and maybe it won't pan out exactly that way, but this level looks fairly simple. There's going to be some building involved, I can already tell. Do you think you know your instrument by now? Let's put your knowledge regarding the different skills to a test. Okay. So we got builders, we got stoners, we got diggers. All right, well, that's just a narrow enough gap, so I'm guessing stoner there. Now, here's the fan. Okay, we don't have a basher, so we're... We don't have a basher. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, we're starting with the piano song today. Stoners are going to be a commodity, so let's try to save them. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanted out of that. Alright, so now what I'm planning on doing is I'll build over this. But as he's building, another lemming is going to dig. Alright, this is this is an interesting level for sure. Generally when you get a level you don't expect to get stoners, builders, and diggers as your main skills, but sometimes that's what happens. I also need to watch my uh, builder count, but I don't think we'll need... Oh, this is going to be, like, perfect. Ho hopefully. I speak too soon, perhaps. So I'll have one digger remaining. So we can use that, and then we can use our last builder to get them all out. Alright! Nice warm-up level. Very simple. Pretty fun. Architecture... It leaves a little something to be desired, but I admit the rock tiles that can be tough to work with at times. Like, you've got the gaps in the rock... And, I mean, the branches are, are kind of tough to look pretty, but other than that, very, very solid start uh, level that's to start the rank. I can't talk. Which is great that I'm recording, isn't it? Huh. So, that looks pretty spot on. I had one digger to spare, but it probably was just there to have four of, or four to six of those skills. Anyhow, level two. Carry on my wayward lamb by Kansas. I love that song. We got 40 lemmings, we've got to save them all, and this is a nice-looking marble level. we got two different hatches and some shredder traps. Oh, this looks very pretty. <laughs> 25 builders. Okay. So clearly we're going to be doing some stuff. All right. So that hatch needs to be contained. That can easily be done. We're, we'll need to make a bridge wall on this side to keep the lines back. Oh. 
Alright, this looks like a pretty simple level. It's just all about using the terrain to your advantage. And avoiding the traps. And avoiding the traps. <laughs> This part could be a bit tricky. We do have a floater, okay. We have a floater, that's good. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. We're going to make a builder on this side. Then with one of the last lines, we can bash through, and he'll be the only one who goes through, and he'll be our lone climber, or floater, not climber. This is level's great because you basically have an unlimited amount of builders and bashers. Beautiful. Now, if that's... that's not enough. that, now we can bash through and these guys can go to the exit. Then all we have to do is patch the hold on this side and they can go to the exit. Another nice warm-up level. Love the architecture on that one. And the gentle uh, doggy song is actually works really well. So, bravo! Maybe we can still continue with the five levels of video. That would actually be pretty great. Level 3, Sex Bomb. Cool. By Tom Jones. <laughs> We're we're Scott Pilgrim's band, and we are Sex Bob Om. All right. Well, we got 80 lemmings, and we have to kill 15 of them. We have to kill 15 of them. We have to. It's a must. Well, we are allowed to, which probably means, yep. Just as I thought, a lot of lemmings will be splatting. Fair, pretty low release rate too, sir. Why are they facing that way? That doesn't seem right. We'll have to blow up quite a few, too. I'm wondering, can we build? We probably can't, so... Well, here's the thing. We got a bunch of bombers. So let's use them. Alright, so that side is all set. We only have two builders, and that's also splat height, which is bad. So we actually might need both the builders for various purposes. I already see one way across, so we could build over the exit, have a lemming climb and bomb and then build, and that'll cut the fall. The question is, how do we get the lemmings over there? Oh, I think I know how. And if I'm right, it's really, really cool. And I think I am right. I do believe we're going to do something like that, and we're just going to send climbers up to bomb.
But what worries me is we haven't used the digger yet. And I'm having a hard time seeing a spot for the digger. I remember when I first found this trick, though, in Lemmings, I was like, Oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever. What would the digger be for? We could save a bomber if we did a digger. We could save a bomber and that might actually be required. it might be required. At the very least, I can see much more use for an extra bomber over a another bomber. Or over the digger. Space the climbers a little farther apart, then. Before we go any farther, I want to get this side done. Oh, this is really cool if this is the intended solution. And it's really cool even if it's not the intended solution. Wait, how many lemmings is that? That's... okay. I have no idea if this is what you're supposed to do at all. I only have two more climbers, so I gotta make them count. Oh, ho, ho! Oh my gosh, that is really, really freaking cool. I love that trick, making the bomber staircase. It's so much fun, and I even had a climber and a bomber to spare at the end. Woo! But that was definitely intended. That's got to be intended. They, they just, uh, Strato gave us an extra bomber and an extra climber to give us some more leeway. That was so good! Oh my gosh, that was a really good level. I loved it a lot. I really love it a lot. We're on level four. Fencing queen, young and sweet, only 17 by ABBA. This is actually the ABBA song that I've I've quoted a couple of times in my Let's Plays. One of the Let's Plays was Lemmings Revolution, which was, it was interesting. Well, we got 20 Lemmings, 20 to be saved. This is a nice looking medieval level. Holy cow. All right, we got some steel. We also have... Lemmings walking the wrong way. Hey, hey. Okay. Gotta go up the, over the top. We've got the awesome music that plays on all the hard levels. Don't splat. They splatted. Alright. That's how you want to play, huh? Oh, 
Oh, whoops. That guy's supposed to be the stacker. Look, how come they all went past that time? Excellent. Now, hopefully, I'll be able to time this in such a way that nobody will go splat. Alright, two lemmings went splat, which means... You are our lucky lemming. No, you're not. You're our lucky lemming. No, you're not, because the last lemming is far behind. Darn you, last lemming. One, two. There we go. Why you do that? Well, we do have a floater, it's true, so... Hmm. I be seeing the problem. Well, he's going to be our fencing queen, so I think we can just dig, and that should be good. So then you do that, and then we can fence up and then mine. Okay, good level. I'm not sure... Um, you shouldn't be doing that. You lack wit. Too soon, so how about instead we let's mine through and try a little something else. Now he still fences past the steel. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Clever trick at the end. Very fun level, though. Still thoroughly enjoyed that. These professional levels are off to a very good start. So we will attempt a fifth level of the day. Vienna. Various artists. Freddy Lane's got to save them all. And this is a nice, another really nice-looking building level from a foreign country that whose flag I don't know. And is that a loop from a Sonic tile set in the middle? I am not sure. we got brick on the left. We've got ruins... Which are the t uh, the tan ones, and then I believe the brown ones are the castle tile set. Oh boy, oh boy. We basically have an unlimited amount of builders, even though we definitely don't. That looks really nice. Is that all terrain? That's all terrain. We're talking all terrain. Okay. That could be a little... Actually, no, that'll be fine. Alright. Builder there. And we'll also want the digger. Uh, we're going to need either one destructive skill or two... Uh, one destructive skill and a builder and, and, or two destructive skills, so... Definitely builder there. Definitely builder there. Probably two. Yeah, this doesn't look that bad at all. <laughs> Hmm. Here's the tricky thing, because we got to hold all the lemmings in. we got a blocker to do it, but we're going to need to save the blocker later on if we do that. Could we do something like this? I wonder.
I'm really pushing it, but... Alright, well, gotta test my theory before doing the rest of it. Can this guy bash the lemming out? I'm re pretty sure no. He can, but of course, if he does that, then that means that won't do anything. Nope, that's not going to work out. Strikes me that the Basher would be best used here. I definitely think the Basher is going to be used at the beginning, so how do we hold the Lemmings in? You know what, let's try something! Give it the old arty try. Oh uh, well, I was going to say let's do a bridge wall, but bridge wall may not be the best choice, actually. Because there's no room for it. So if we put a blocker at the start, we're going to have to destroy it in such a way that it will walk to the left and no other limits will go to the right. So I'm just thinking things through. Destructive skills, because those are a bit more limited. We're probably going to need one for the end, unless we have a lot of builders left over. We don't need one for there, we can build up that. We may not need one there. I feel I would be comfortable having the digger there, though. We're going to need uh, probably the fencer for there, and we're going to need the basher for there. Which means that, in and of itself, is every destructive skill. Unless we can save the digger. So let's try saving the digger. Let's see if we can save the digger. So let's do this. Have him make the digger holding cell, and then he, they can bash out later. Max out that release rate. Then he can fence his way out of there. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Well, you know, we got lots of builders, so... They're just quickly running out. Just not enough. My favorite. Alright, well we have six, so we can, if we use free there, we'll have free left. That actually might be okay. Now, will they splat? They will. So we have to use another builder. If we time the builders just right, so they fall on the tip of that cone, they actually might not splat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Boom! So now we can use our last builder for here. Oh, bother. We'll have no way of stopping him now. Hmm, that's a problem.
Here's some. Here's a thought. We could dig them down in this pit. And then mine them out and save the basher for the end. But the question is, would he be able to turn around? I don't think he would. So that's not good. Clearly I'm not using the block properly. Also, we have a glider, but I don't... I'm gonna have to figure out what the glider is gonna be used for, as well as the blocker. Because those are the two skills I don't see a whole lot of use for. Particularly the glider. Oh, I now see the use for the glider! Literally just came to me. This part is so much easier if you use the glider. So then we can turn around. And now we can build. And then we can just use one builder and they will stop splatting. Cool, yeah, yeah, this will work. Because then he's going to hit his head, and then he's going to turn around because he can't climb up there. Then at the end, we can mine, followed by a builder. Beautiful. Once again, wait for him to turn around, and then we've got the basher, and we can bash them out. Now, unless I did something wrong, they should be able to reach the end. Oh, that was a fun level. Great. These are great levels. Holy cow. These are really great levels. And the Rondo Ala Turka remakes just makes them all that much better. Those are so good. Holy cow. I love those levels where it's literally just... You've got what seems like a generous amount of skills. And then it turns out, like, you have... They're pretty limited, but there's a little bit of leeway, but it's still about putting them in the right place to make it as efficient as possible. I really like those levels, and especially when they're not, like, brutally difficult, like some of my levels can get. <laughs> I, I like playing the easier ones. So, hey, we got five levels done, and we didn't even take a half hour on that, so I consider that a huge win. I'm going to try keeping up the five-level video streak then. Thanks so much for watching, my friends. I'm Colorful Artie. And tune in next time for more professional levels by not quite a professional means player. That's me. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless.